And welcome back to Scratchcraft, everybody. I am here in the ocean with the cod uh, right outside my house because it is time to stream. I'm going to go mining in the nether for those ancient debris because we have a bunch of diamond gear and we want to get it upgraded to flex on people. Not because it actually does anything, because it really doesn't. Like, we get a bonus attack damage on our sword and some extra durability on our armor and tools, and that's basically it. It's really not that good. But of course we have to get it, because some people will be like, Oh, Storm, why don't you have another right? And I'll be like, because it doesn't actually do much. But, yeah, we got we got to flex on people. I got to get that full netherite in achievement, just like Hunted did in his last episode. What are you even doing up there? Anyway, so I'm, I've, I made some fire resistant potions, or I need to make some fire resistant potions, so I'm gonna go down to my basement, which you still don't know where it is, and I'm gonna brew up some potions, and then uh, we're gonna get all that ancient debris that we need. Stream highlights! Nice. Uh, look. This is going well. I, I like this. Bought what? stuff from you. Debris! Yes, you need it. I just want wow. I've been in their hives for like the bottom of the ground and I Don't say I'm the beast. No, <gasps> more debribbles. Give me the debribbles. Oh. No, 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 no. That was English, by the way. And just like that, we have 45 ancient debris. I was only able to get like uh, 32 on stream. We were unfortunately incredibly unlucky and didn't get very much at all. 45 is pitiful for compared to the amount of time we spent. Like in two hours, I've gotten three stacks before. In two hours on stream, I got like 32, which sucks. But now, need to smelt it up, and I've got the gold here to turn it into the netherite ingots that we need to make all the netherite armor and gear. All I gotta do now is go down to my basement and smelt it up. Grab all the ancient debris out of the furnace and crafting our first 11 pieces of netherite this season. What the heck happened here? All right. Whoa, visual glitches. 11 alloy of Davy Jones. And now we can upgrade everything. Go full netherite. I look so cool. Diamond looks pretty cool too, though. But I'm not sure which I like better because netherite, netherite is different. All the other armors just have a different color, but netherite actually looks different. Like the helmet, it wraps around my face and it fits it like perfectly. It fits. It fits the 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 helmet on my skin almost perfectly, and I love it. We've got one extra piece of netherite scraps, because, you know, you never find the perfect amount. I mean, sometimes do, but I haven't ever found the perfect amount. But we're probably not going to need it anytime soon, because I upgraded not just our main tools, but both axes, both pickaxes, and both axes. Each one has either silk touch or fortune, and I've got one for each type. And I'll be carrying these around in... Where's my ender chest? I put my ender chest in my ender chest. Yeah, I made seven ender chests because I had a bunch of blaze powder and ender pearls, and I went and I mined a bunch of obsidian, so now I can carry around all my spare tools. Oh, that's the one I like. Without having them on me all the time. So it's been a couple days since I streamed, and I just haven't, I haven't been on the server since then, except just today I got on and I did the last bit of ancient debris mining, but then I came over here to my villagers, and I found that five of them had disappeared. Not zombified, they're gone. This one, this one, this one, and these two. These were some of my most valuable villagers. This one, right here, was my protection four guy. My uh, feather falling four guy. My power five guy. 
And I uh, was, what was this? Yeah, my sweeping edge guy is gone. And I can't remember who was here. Was that my fortune one? I think my fortune one is gone as well. So that is extremely unfortunate and I need to uh, replace them. But I was really not in the mood to do villagers. Villagers, villagers tired me out trying to get the right trade. It took me two and a half hours last time to get the prop four villager. And I don't want to do that again right now, and I don't need to do that right now. So instead, I built stuff. I built, uh, it's not that much, I just put fences around it so no mobs can get in here. Like, a baby zombie cannot fit through here, and I made sure the fences aren't touching anything so you can't, like, hop up onto the side of a fence and hop over this. I also couldn't put them on the blocks because, one, there's redstone there, two, uh, if it was on the blocks, a mom could come and get onto the very edge and walk over. I don't think, I don't know if they would, I don't know if they're that smart, but I'd rather not risk it. And so you can get in over here as well, and I, I lit the place up so no mobs can spawn. I really should have done this in the first place, and I paid for it with five villagers, really good ones too. But it's not like we have a shortage of villagers, we have plenty of villagers, like I, 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 I can't really get up here anymore. The only way to get up at all is like coming over here, but you can't even, and mobs could come over this, but they can't, they can't, unless they could jump, which mobs don't jump gaps like this or like that, so they can't actually, they can't get in over here either. But we have plenty of villagers, so we're not hurting on villagers, I just, I just don't want to trade with them right now. So instead, we'll imprison them! That's way more fun than trading with them. And if you don't know what that means, it means we're making an iron farm because I'm already running out of iron and I want more iron and I have uh, wither skulls, but I can't really do anything with the four that I have because a beacon's pretty pointless without enough uh, materials to put under it. And I've got like 23 blocks left of iron, so I definitely need to make an iron farm. Now the hard part is figuring out where to put it. We could build it on top of this maybe? I don't know. I don't know how much how permanent any of this is. I'm planning on moving all the villagers eventually at some point into a better thing, and I don't know where that's going to be either. I'm just kind of building things that I need and not caring how it looks, which is probably not a great idea because I'm probably going to have to fix it at some point. Then I got a message on Discord from Malon saying he wanted to do his execution and trial, and so I headed over to Spawn where he had built his own little courtroom himself. I am Judge yeah, Axe. I feel like I'll be the judge instead. I'm no, I, I'm, the, I'm, judge, I'm, I'm the Axe fall, Judge. Don't fall down the stairs, please. All rise for the honor of Judge Stormlord Zeus. <laughs> you may be seated. Oh, God. You may be seated. Order in the court. Malinations, you are, have been accused of hacking on the Scratchcraft SMP. The uh, allegations include uh, X-Ray, Flying, Kill Aura, whatever the shift hack is, geez, the walking on water, Spider yeah, Hack, yeah, I did those things. Player okay. Tracing, Okay, yeah, Jesus yeah, hack. I, 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 I did do those things, that is true. So you've admitted it. In my defense, in my defense, it was not against the rules at the time, right? So technically I did nothing wrong, because it was not against the rules at the time, correct? No. Correct? No. <laughs> it was not against the rules at the time, is that not correct? Let's say one day eating an orange becomes illegal. I ate an orange yesterday, and then today it's illegal. Should I be arrested? I don't think so. But maybe because it's so illegal, I should be. But in my defense, I don't think it should be punishable because at the time it was not illegal. Yes, except I'm... this is a survival Minecraft server. I mean, you listen implying to me, listen, listen, no okay? hacking or cheating. I mean business, okay? Gosh, dude. Your tie is a banana. Your tie is a banana. I mean business. I can see that, yes. Yeah, is it illegal to eat bananas? No, no. Uh, he hacked, but like, only was it, there's three properties, or not properties, but reasons why he hacked. Number one, it was not against the rules. Number two, I mean, Consider his internet, right? Like, he wouldn't be able to make regular progression in the game if he keeps getting smited by the power of bad internet. So I guess he would need the hacks to kind of keep up. And number three, content. 
I mean, yeah, content, content to my right, guys. Yeah, it is good content. Like, I will admit, this is the first thing that cool cakes, man. So, I hacked on the scratch craft SMP is a pretty nice title for a video. Oh, <laughs> uh, is that illegal? No, no. no. I mean, it, no. it, it probably okay. is illegal, yeah, but, um, I'll allow it. So, Malon was hacking, and it has been proven, and he has admitted it. Maybe it wasn't against the rules specifically, but hacking generally, hacking is literally cheating, and cheating is cheating and so it's like automatically against the rules because it's cheating and uh, now here's a crazy thing he said that he wasn't hacking he assured everyone he wasn't hacking he lied saying he wasn't hacking i mean is lying illegal <laughs> it might be. i mean no it but... wasn't a rule there's no room. Seems to me you guys just really don't like me. I think this is racism against melons. First you don't like oranges, then you don't like bananas, and now you don't like melons. Except for keep it right keep it You like melons, right? You can stand for me, right? Melons are great, but you're melons. Yeah! You're melon, not melons. I just want to say that, like, uh, Malon is really, he smells really bad, and he's, um, he also, okay, okay. He has been planning this since, like, he got on. <laughs> um, that is, but I don't think he should be punished for it. Because his only form of content is by... I don't know. That was, like, his, that was like the only video he was able to make because he doesn't really do anything else that interesting. So... <laughs> so, I think that he should be uh, not punished. Uh, but I still, want, I still want to see him killed. Uh, but not for this reason. I just, I just want to see him die because of okay. all the times he's, kill, he's killed me in the past. Okay. Yeah. So, so don't punish him, but punish him for something. So else. He, he, yeah, here's he here's die. the thing. Uh, could you all look to the rules channel in the Scratchcraft server? I've added a new rule. It says new rule: ex post facto laws are allowed. That means that a law made after the fact, after the fact of a crime that was not a crime before. Is still condemnable. Well, you know what? This just sounds like a. This just sounds like t tyranny. I mean, like, <laughs> you're the one who said I would be the judge. I get to do what I want here. I mean, yeah, but still, you seem like a tyrant. I'm not gonna lie. He oh, he is up. guilty of yeah, hacking. The question is not did he hack. It's is that punishable by execution? Oh, yeah. Um. Can we punish yeah. him by execution? Actually, now that I think about Wait, it, because I would he, he did I like to propose things. something first. What is it, Irrational Mango? For the execution... Yeah? The Pufferfish. Thank you. Do yeah. it. Even the defense says after the execution, not if there's an execution. Just... or before there's the execution. There's literally no way we can defend him. He literally hacked and Admitted hacked. to it. After reviewing the evidence and the witnesses' testimonies and all everything that we've talked about, I find the defendant guilty, and we now sentence Malon to be executed by lava. Boo. Would you like your final meal, okay. Malonations? Perfect. Yes. Can you eat it? <sighs> okay. Any last- so, any I just want to say I'm so sorry for all of this. Uh, uh, Irrational Manga, you are a great person, and I absolutely loved terraforming and killing you over and over again. Go! <laughs> it was never meant to be. Oh, this is so sad. Oh, God, oh, right. wait. Hey. I can't see you. No. Hey! Wait! Ah. He, I saw the potion in his hand. Wait, he got fire resistance! Wait, I faked his death! Where are you? Oi! He's literally glowing, he's not gonna escape. Oh, come on! Dude, yes, no. Oh my god! Dude, he, he, got got so he just. The combat logs, no! He's on the spot, he's gone, he's gone, he. 
he died. Yay! Oh, well. <laughs> He's dead. And we haven't heard from Malon since. And after that eventful event, eventful event, after that eventful event, uh, I can finally build my iron farm. And we're going to need a lot and a lot of dark oak. So we're here at this dark oak forest about uh, 3,000 blocks away from my base, maybe? I don't know. But we're going to chop a lot of it down. And I'm thinking maybe a time lapse would be an appropriate... Uh, Ooh, this place looks cool, though. It'd be an appropriate method of destroying this forest, because, you know, that's what we do here on Scratchcraft. Decimate natural biomes. you all enjoyed that time lapse with trees being destroyed. I wanted to try out the replay mod, which I just got by the way, on something that I didn't really care about to, you know, get the hang of it a little bit. And mining down trees is a perfect thing to do that on. So I mined the forest uh, over that hill and then I replanted it now. So it's all fine. I didn't destroy. I mean, I guess I did destroy it, but it's fine now. And if it didn't work, I was just going to delete it because I didn't really care about the time lapse that much. But now, I want to try it with something more important. And that is going to be, of course, the iron farm that I said I was going to do like ages ago and still haven't done. And I need to figure out where to put it. It can't be over near my other villagers because then it wouldn't work because there's villagers over there and there can't be any other villagers around for it to work. So I'm thinking maybe like in the middle of the forest so we can like see it poking out over the treetops without having to see all of it really close because it doesn't really look great up close but it might look good from a distance so ready for a replay mod time lapse hello everybody this is future stormlord zeus here i've come back in time because the replay mod decided that I'm going to take up a ton of space and put it in your Minecraft folder. So that means when you try to record something that's too long, I'm going to say you have no memory space left. And so your entire replay will get deleted. And that is why there is no time lapse of the Iron Farm. But please enjoy these clips that I recorded while the thing was supposedly saving and I didn't realize it had broken yet. And now for the extremely tedious process of getting villagers and a zombie in this thing. And as you can see, it's just barely turning night. So, I'm gonna find a zombie who can pick something up, get him up this windy staircase, and drop him in. And then I can get the villagers from the farm way off in the distance. He picked something up! In you go! Zombie acquired. That was actually remarkably easy. And sealing you in for time and all eternity. All right, I'm back over here by the villagers, and I've built the staircase with rails to get them up. But I, uh, I'm building an iron farm, because I don't have enough iron. Which means I don't have enough iron 
for enough rails to get them all the way over there. So I just have a dirt path that goes all the way, oh, I can't jump up here, that goes all the way over to the farm. And I turned down my render distance because I was lagging too much. But yeah, I can't, I can't rail all the way over there. So I'm going to bring them up here in a cart, break them out of it, and then boat them all the way to the farm. <laughs> All right, villager number 17, are you ready to be the first ever villager to ride the Iron Farm 9000? And I mean, he, he is the test villager, so if he dies, I will not be sad that we lost a villager. I will be sad that he didn't work, because I, I, I more like mad not sad because it's going to take a lot of time to get a new one all the way up to where he's going if he somehow dies but hopefully it'll all work out just fine welcome to the dirt box of boatage here we bring you boats instead of minecarts because you don't need minecarts anymore now get in the boat get get in it's right it's right there do I need to push you? Hey, who's a good villager? Not you. No villagers are good. Some are better than others, though. And you're one of the better ones. Ow, my face. Villager? Are you alive? What? He died? So this time, I'm leaving the boat here and the thing open. If you somehow manage to get past this boat, I'll be very perturbed, so please cooperate. Is this going to be a problem we have with all of them? None of you want to get in the boat? It will take you to a place that is very great and wonderful, and I'm totally not going to torture you psychologically by forcing you to spend time with a, a zombie. That's not what's going to happen. Why are you looking at me like that? Get in the boat. You want to get in the boat now that I've told you about the psychological scarring you're about to endure? Go. <gasps> yes. Time to boat on the path of never-endingness. Oh my gosh, I can see my house from here. Welcome to your new home. Yeah, it has a great view, doesn't it? If you actually had render distance up high. It's still decent, but you know, it could be better, but you're gonna have a view from inside there. Okay, does that sound good? Uh, I I'll even put some water down there so you don't die of fall damage like, like the other villager who died from like a half a second of suffocation. In you go. In. Get in the hole. Nice. Good job. You're such a such an obedient villager. Goodbye. And now I have to do all that again two more times. This is going to be so much fun. And I love villagers so much. Villager number two. Villager number three. And I'm not supposed to be down here, but this is actually a perfect opportunity because now I can remove these walls. Hold on, I don't have inventory space. One, two. No, that's not good. I don't have more of those in my inventory. Uh, um, can I, can I uh, move? Okay, we, we got this, we got this. No, 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 no. All right, go. Secret mission. No, 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 no. Stop it. No, please. Did I get it? I got it. I am so good at this game. And now you can terrify these villagers and torture them for life. And you'll be locked in till pigs fly. Wait. What do you mean that's a thing? Now it's time to add the lava, a couple pieces of water, and then remove my dirt and scaffolding. And now this farm should be, for all intents and purposes, complete. And I think we just had an iron golem burning up there, and we should be seeing our first few pieces of iron. I don't think they go all the way down here because you know, I was out of iron, guys. I couldn't make enough hoppers to make it go all the way down. So I'm not actually sure which chest the iron is going into right now. 
or even if the filtration system is even hooked up enough. These chests in the front are all iron. The ones on the side are all poppies. I might hook this up to a um, composting system. Just get rid of all the poppies, turn it into bone meal. Once I have enough, to just in case I need red dye, because, you, whoa. Just because you never know. You never know when you need to turn something red. And on that note, let's destroy this dirt pathway and give all the dirt back to Magic because I borrowed it from him because he's got a ton of dirt from like the hole he's digging for his base so far. And I needed blocks and I didn't have a lot of blocks that could be easily mined like dirt could. And removing this shouldn't be a problem. None of these villagers are ever gonna die. Nothing bad will ever happen to you. And I really hope that's not unintentional foreshadowing for the future because I'm not bringing villagers here again, I hope, ever. And we're getting iron, guys. Look at that, 18 iron so far. I uh, definitely spent more iron making this and just the rails it took to get them up to the top. But hopefully uh, we'll eventually get back all of it and we'll turn that right back into hoppers to finish this up because it only goes to like, where was it? I don't even remember what chest it was in. But eventually it will be just chunking out iron by the ingot and poppies by the poppy. You can see it from all the way over here, and it looks pretty cool. I do need to patch up, oh, the chests don't render from this far away. It looks kind of silly. You can see the redstone and all the hoppers over there. But yeah, it looks pretty cool over there. And after just a few hours, we have like 14 stacks of iron. This thing is really, really good. I will link in the description the video that I used if I can find it again. And that is going to be it for this episode of Scratchcraft. Uh, villagers are actually quite pleasant today with the villager with the iron farm because usually villagers are a lot more difficult. And yes, we had one die, but it was right at the beginning, so it wasn't even that bad. But thank you all for watching. I do hope you enjoyed today's episode. I sure did. And now I'll have a whole bunch of iron to show for it. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you in the next Scratchcraft episode. Bye!